Welcome, Tim here. Um, going to explain today how we operate our heated vans. Obviously, the weather's getting much colder, um, and we do haul a significant amount of freight in these heated vans. Um, so just to go through the complete operation um, of said units, we have our main control box, um, which is where all the functions um, are operated from. Um, first off, I want you to read through the operating instructions. Um, and just familiarize yourself with, um, you know, the different gauges. We have our thermostat that we set. We also have <coughs> indicators telling you that the unit is on, um, that the unit failed, meaning it did not fire. Um, our alternator output, meaning that the system is charging, um, as well as our check coolant level um, indicator that tells you that we may have a coolant issue. Now, unfortunately, when these trailers are hooked up to the tractors, um, there is not uh, enough height for a driver to physically check the oil level on these units. So that is something that your maintenance department takes care of when these truck, when these trailers, excuse me, cycle through the uh, terminal here in Man Marinat. Um, so first off, what you want to do um, is basically flip this lid, which is going to show you the inside temperature and where you set the temperature on these units. You're going to just turn the on switch on. You're going to see the indicator lights come on. You're going to see the unit in the on mode. It's going to go through some self checks. Um, if it's cold enough out, it's going to preheat the glow plugs. You're going to hear the warning system come on and then the system will fire up. Now you're not going to be able to hear me but this is where then you would set the temperatures by just hit indicating the up and down arrows for either warmer or colder. To completely shut down the system, you simply just flip the switch to the off mode and it obviously shuts down on you. This is the uh, thermostat area. Uh, in the LED display, you're going to see the actual inside temperature and you're also gonna see the temperature that you have the unit set at. The up and down arrows that you see to the left are gonna to be to increase or decrease the temperature um, that is put in, into the inside of the trailer, as well as this um, circle, which actually, if you press, it's gonna um, show you the actual inside temperature at this current time. The heaters would be used <coughs> if, I should say when, um, you're assigned to this particular trailer and the load that's in it. Um, I know right now we do haul <coughs> a lot for Caterpillar um, and those parts have to maintain a certain temperature. Your fleet leader will give you that information um, and in the directions it will tell you what to set the temperature at. The system is pretty much sail or fail safe. Um, you know, like I explained earlier, it's got all the, the indicators here. If it senses that there is low oil pressure or low coolant, the low coolant light will come on. Or if it's a low, air, low oil pressure, excuse me, issue, uh, the unit fail light will come on, meaning that the system will go through a self-check. It'll give you that audible alarm that it's gonna start. But if for some reason there is an issue and it um, identifies that, the unit fail light will come on and it, for safety reasons, it will not start at all. It, as far as troubleshooting, uh, if you do have an issue with a particular unit, the unit fail light comes on, I would say just send in a breakdown message on your tablet, um, get in contact with um, our maintenance department so we can walk you through a few self checks. There isn't really anything um, that you can do in the field uh, without guidance from, from a maintenance uh, personnel. In addition to that, um, obviously a heating unit, it's gonna be cold out. Um, they're a diesel engine. Fuel additives um, get putting, put in these uh, trailers as well. Um, when it is uh, required, we will send out an email to the entire fleet uh, saying that you need to get blended fuel or pick up fuel additive um, and dump half of that gallon of fuel additive in the fuel tank that is located on the driver's side of this trailer. Uh, we are over here on the um, road side of the trailer. Uh, just to show you where the fuel tank is, we have our filler neck um, on the top, and then we also have our fuel gauge on the bottom 
that is obviously viewable through the um, aerodynamic side skirts that are on these trailers. These are 75 gallon tanks um, and they run right off at uh, ultra low sulfur diesel fuel, just like your tractor. Um, and like I said, fuel additives um, <clears throat> will need to be uh, put in these trailers, which is dictated by a, a message that is sent out uh, to the entire fleet. When it comes to fueling up these um, particular units, um, I would say that when you stop for fuel uh, in your tractor, I would just check the level um, of this particular fuel tank. Like I say, this is a 75 gallon tank. Um, as far as how many hours it's going to run, is kind of dictated by the temperature outside, as well as the requirement that you're, that you're putting on the unit itself to keep the freight that's inside warm. So it varies. So just get into the routine that when you stop for fuel for, with, for your truck, that you um, check the fuel level here as well. Thanks VIPs, thank you for watching. If you have questions, please reach out to myself or another maintenance team member.